I got several requests from you guys to speak about straight neck. And in this video, I'd like to give you some advice on how to approach it wisely. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the posture manual and creator of three online posture programs. The third thing that we need to say about straight neck is that, you know, if you Google straight neck file type dot dot PDF, well, you won't find much because straight neck isn't a clinical term. The clinical term is loss of cervical lordosis. Yeah, that's point number one. Straight neck is a term that is often used by chiropractors in particular, and we're going to come back to that point later. Now, three things to say about straight neck. Point number one, straight neck is often associated with an accident that will impact the upper cervical joints. Point two, and point two and three are interrelated. Point two is that straight neck is related to a loss of muscle strength here in the extensors of the spine. No big surprise because the job of these muscles is to create the lordosis. So you can expect that if there's no lordosis, while well, these muscles will be weakened. Point number three, straight neck is often associated with forward head posture. You see when my head moves forward, the, the curvature moves here, yeah? the angle increases in the lower neck and the rest of the neck flattens out. So these are, say, three features that are commonly associated with straight neck. Now, what are the, the big challenges when trying to treat that? I think that challenge number one is to rely solely on hands-on therapies. If you have straight neck, well, I would never let anyone align, manipulate, crack, call it whatever you want, my neck more than two, max three times. If that doesn't work, there will be something more, especially if your pain is chronic. Don't let someone crack your neck 30, 40 times, as I see in my daily practice in the most severe cases that I had. That's point number one. Point number two, and this is the umbrella concept that covers what I just said, is that there is a lot of confusion in the field of posture deviations between causes and consequences. Yeah? The fact that you have a loss of lordosis or a loss of muscle strength in the extensors does not necessarily mean that you should try to increase the lordosis by exercises or increase the strength of these muscles by exercises. What do I mean with that? I mean that if you do exercises for the neck, you're going to rather create more problems because the big risk is that you increase the pressure on the cartilage and reduce the space for the nerve roots to exit the system. That's risk number one. Risk number two is that you think the, the, the wrong way around. Let, let me give you a metaphor. If your car does not move forward, yeah? And you say, okay, as my car does not move forward, I'm gonna press harder on the accelerator pedal. Do you think that it will always make your car move or that it will sometimes break your car? sometimes slash often? Well, it should be number two. Because if you didn't remove the handbrake or remove your foot from the brake pedal and you just press harder on the accelerator pedal, you break everything. Yeah? And this is where I'm going to come back on forward head posture. Forward head posture is something that most of us do in their daily lives due to a lot of screen work, a lot of slouching, a lot of round shoulders, a lot of all that. And there's a rule in the brains is that the brains try to not create co-contraction, i.e. if they overactivate these muscles, they underactivate these ones. Yeah? Hence, my conclusion is that if the straight neck disorder and associated pain is chronic, 
the number one thing you should try and do is remove the brake pedal. Okay? That means that you should work on everything that creates forward head posture in your life and then see the effect of hands-on therapies if that wasn't enough. And this is why my biggest advice for you is check out the full video that I have on fixing forward head posture. It's a free eight weeks program. And if you need more than a free eight weeks program, well, I have the full um, online posture programs, including coaching, that can help you. But there's a free solution out there. I'm not saying that it will resolve every case of straight neck. I'm just going to say that you should put 80% of your energy on fixing the causes of forward head posture and only 20% of your energy on fixing the symptoms. Otherwise, you're going to break everything and really create massive pain in your daily life for a very long time.